videos and stuff like that. But most times that that was not the case, bro. And it's this video is gonna be to enlighten you on the fact that the nigga who your girl left you for, you probably knew the nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that could tell you one or two things. That could tell you that the nigga was probably fucking the whole time. Or that could tell you that you probably, that, that girl who you was with just really wasn't the one for you. And she a bop. Because ain't no nigga I met in my relationship who was colder than I was. Now, it could be one of your friends. It really could be anybody, bro. But this this video is gonna be to enlighten y'all on 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 on, the, on that fact, man. So let's get right into it. Let's react and let's get to that money. Jump right into the video. When your girl leaves you, she's gonna leave you for a guy that you know. It's not gonna be a stranger. Nope. It's gonna be a guy that you know very well. She is actually gonna introduce you to him. Yes, you are gonna shake hands with the same guy that is gonna take your girl from you. You're gonna look him in the eye, you're gonna give him a dap, give him a pound, say what's up bro, and the whole time, that's your replacement, no cap. It's either gonna be her coworker, somebody she goes to school with, her personal trainer, somebody that has access to your girl the same amount of time that you do. Now, now look, man. Niggas are extremely thirsty. We get that, right? But sometimes a woman could be in a situation where she is easily influenceable and in accepting anything a nigga say. So it's like, I'm gonna give you an example, right? I used to talk to this one chick, right? And we was at the gym together one time, and you get what I'm saying? I'm pulling up. This is my first time at the at the gym and shit. So I'm working out. And it's one of the trainers um, that work there. And the nigga came up to me on some shit like, hey, bro, you play football? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, what you training for? Do, do, do. And I'm like, the fuck? Like, what you randomly coming up to me for asking me if I play football type shit? And then the whole time, you know what I'm saying? The chick and shit who I was with, I'm like, bro, like, why this nigga acting like that? Whole time, um, then I went. I seen, she was like, oh, yeah, he followed me on Instagram. I'm like, how this nigga follow you on Instagram? Like, what the fuck? Then she was like, uh, maybe he, when I be posting on my, um, when I be at the gym, he be, he probably went through there and followed. And I'm like, she ain't even, she didn't even post on uh, her workouts and shit on Instagram. So I was putting two and two together in the back of my head. I'm like, okay, okay. But I ain't saying nothing about it. Cause I'm like, damn. What the fuck? Like, bitch, do you go cheat with this, this type of nigga? I expected more for you type shit, because the nigga was really like, you know, disgusting looking type shit, so, you know what I'm saying, it, the fact that the nigga came up and shook my hand type shit, like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying, on some, I'm already weirded out, like, damn, bro, why you, you know what I'm saying, what the fuck, because I'm not just gonna come shake no nigga hand, like, especially if I'm, I'm, I'm not saying he was cracking my bitch, but it's a possibility, especially if I'm cracking a nigga bitch type shit, like, why would I come shake his hand, like, I'm not gonna make no eye contact, I'm not gonna do none of that, you know what I'm saying, so, I don't know if the nigga was scared, like he thought I was on, on game type shit, or I think it was the night before, I was like, why this nigga follow you? And then this nigga ended up following me on TikTok and some old shit, and I'm like, bro, like, what the fuck? You get what I'm saying? And like, niggas move mad weird, bro. Mad weird. And it's like, bro, keep that shit pee. Like, if that's what you want, like, keep that shit pee. Why you trying to come shake a nigga hand and shit, bro? I smack the fuck out your stupid ass way. And, um, bro, that's, that's just that, bro, like... In the video, what bro said was right, bro. The nigga who fucking your bitch, bro, he gonna come, he gonna, she, she will, you know what I'm saying, put you in a situation where you shaking bro hand. It's gonna be the coworker, the trainer, all of that, bro. It don't matter what the situation may be, bro. It's always gonna be one of them two factors. But when I seen shit like that, bro, I'm always like, damn, like, I felt, I, and like, in situations I've been in, what I realized is, they like to say that men cheat down, like men cheat with like rats and shit. I think women just cheat with who's there emotionally for them, right? Because th with this chick, I was in a long distance relationship and you feel me? The time was seven hours apart. So I'm like, maybe this nigga was just there type shit. Like maybe he was just the nigga who, you know what I'm saying? Because when it came to looks, the nigga was not fucking with me. It's not going to be many niggas to fuck with me in that department anyway. But when it came to that, like, bro, not fucking with me. When it came to body game, he was not fucking with me. And the nigga was short. But it was like, just the fact that 
all that two and two got put together, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, well, shit, if bro making you feel better than what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? That's all, that's all it boiled down to type shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it, the shit be, the shit be comical because it's like, damn, I, this is how I be looking, sizing niggas up, who be trying, like, when I'm in a relationship, this is how I size niggas up, like, I be like, bro, I be done whooped your ass, but what is it for? Because it's like, on some shit, I was weirded out, but then I thought, hmm, how 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 crazy would it be for me to just smack this nigga? Because it's like, bro, you probably you feel me? You it ain't like you raping her. If you is fucking my bitch, it ain't like you raping her. You feel me? She giving you the pussy for free, or she giving you the conversation for free, or she giving you whatever she giving you. You know what I'm saying for free. It ain't like you just you know what I'm saying. You forced to follow. She accepted that shit. Like it ain't that. I was really just thinking shit as a p. I ain't even bringing shit up no more. I was just like, damn, shit be crazy, bro. Like out here. So, bro, right, man. Like you know what I'm saying they. The the one who she leave you for, you probably know the nigga, man. And it's like, damn, you can't even really do shit because nine out of ten, every relationship I've been in, they they be thinking I'm cheating on their ass anyway. But even though that don't be the case, bro, like I be on some peace shit, like focusing on my goals and shit. But that that it's very true, bro. Like and that's why I say as a man, bro, you don't have no friends, bro. Cause any hey, next relationship I get in, bro. Any nigga I shake his hand that I don't know before, bro, I'm liable to just smack the shit out of you just to give you, just to give you a warning, like, yeah. So if you is doing some shit, it's like, oh yeah, that nigga smacked my ass, like, shawty, I'm cool on you, like, that nigga ain't playing about your ass type shit, like, it's gonna have to be some shit like that, bro, because you really can't trust shit, man, like, it's a crazy world we live in, like, and the more I think back on this, like, damn, at this time, I really don't give a fuck now, like, shit be what it gonna be, um, but it's like, damn, you could... I think, like, when it comes to relationships, bro, when when I be the most loyal is when the fuck shit start happening. But when I'm just doing my shit, like, whatever, that's when I feel like the woman be the most loyal. But then when I, you know what I'm saying, when it, it's a trickle effect, though. Like, my last relationship, bro, I wasn't cheating, like, the whole last year. And then that's when the fuck shit start happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm, granted, we was together for a minute. But that's when the fuck shit start happening when I started... All right, let me take shot ass serious. Like, let me, let me, um, let me get right. And then I feel like that shit backfired because it's like, I don't, you feel me? Not, I, I don't give a fuck who she fuck with now, but it's like, damn, at the time, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Mind you, this was like, you know what I'm saying, some time ago, but I was just like, damn. Then I seen this video, I was like, damn, that show sure is right, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm giving the game to y'all, bro. Who your woman gonna leave for? It's gonna be somebody you know. That's why I never believed in that. I'm going to bring my friends around my girl, like all my niggas around my girl. Blah, blah, blah. And there's plenty of people who would agree. Bro, why the fuck, what the fuck is the purpose of that? What the fuck is the purpose of that? I'm going to bring my friends around my girl. Unless it's like something at the crib, but like on some everyday, let's chill, let's vibe, let's talk. Bro, that's dumb as hell. Just like a woman don't want to bring her their friends around you, bro, it should be the same, bro. Keep that shit separate, platonic, bro. Don't be bringing your, your best friends around your girl, bro. That shit is not a good look. And it's not insecure. It's just like people get attached based off conversations and shit like that. It don't even have to be somebody like, but it's like, what what, what are you bringing your homeboys around your girl every single day? Treasure trophies. Now, if she a trophy, then nigga, bring all the niggas around. Fuck it. Nigga, y'all pass the bitch around, but she a treasure, bro. Keep that shit tucked away sacred, bro. Real shit. This some real P game for your ass. Now, look, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, do all that. Make sure you hit the notification bell for my next video to drop, man. We're going to be out, man. I always be cognizant of this type of stuff, bro. Because it happens, bro. And the dude, like, dudes be dirty with it. Like, if I'm if I'm not going to do girl, bro, he will never see me, bro. Granted, I don't do it often. Because I don't even like to engage. Even though I have the opportunity, I don't even like to engage in that type of stuff no more. Because it's like, bro, as you get older, niggas be killing about the pussy. Niggas will literally kill you about a bitch that they not married to. And it's not even... It's the principle. So I'd be like, yeah, I'm not finna lose my life fucking with you. I'm like, what the fuck? I could go, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna lose my life fucking with you. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, dude, ain't even playing that shit. Like, fuck, I look like I'm not even finna get him the, the idea that you trying to do something with me. Don't even come hug me. Cause you know how dudes be. We know how we are. You get know what I'm saying? Like, but everybody don't think like that. And like I said, the only way you're gonna win is if you unattached. But always be cognizant, always be on the lookout for shit like that. Cause like I said, with the with the gym dude. It could or could not be true. I really don't give a fuck at this point, but it could or could not be true. But it's like, when you think about it, it's like, damn, too many factors added up. And, you know what I'm saying? And the coworker thing is very true.
as well. Very, very true. And that's coming from, you feel me? On the military side, bro, that coworker shit, hella true. I'm not, I'm, that's another topic for another video. Real shit. And these, this, that goes for women who married in the military with coworkers, they still be getting knocked, knocked. So look, I'm going to be out, man. You feel me? Y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'm gone.